I'm recruiting for a lot of boards at the moment. It's incredibly busy. It's a very busy time of the year traditionally as we head into the end of the year and companies set their plans for 2024. And increasingly, we're seeing a very diverse range of job briefs uh, for different types of board members to join the boardroom. I think uh, the status quo uh, is no longer appropriate and many companies are looking at their skill matrix and they're looking at very specialist resources either on the main board or on the advisory board to assist the company to deal with the challenges that the business is facing. We see continuing uh, briefs for cyber security experts. I think it's well recognized that this is a gap for a lot of companies. Uh, there's a lot of things happening that don't always hit the, the news, <laughs> thankfully, but there is a lot going on behind the scenes and I think companies are really trying to recalibrate and to get their house in order and have that expertise in the boardroom rather than just report reporting to the board through the IT function. So we are seeing uh, people joining boardrooms at a very, very senior level uh, with that very specialist expertise. I think there's another whole wave of digital transformation that's happening and we are still seeing requests for people with that digital marketing uh, type background and we're getting a lot of requests for that type of skill set. We're also seeing for a lot of companies that uh, have quite large workforces, workforce planning expertise is coming in as a request and we're seeing a lot of companies recognising the importance of having an HR professional in the boardroom with a seat at the table contributing to those key discuss discussions. And then you see a whole raft of different skills. Certainly AI is having a very big impact on companies, whether it be artificial intelligence, changing the way uh, business is being done, how data is being managed and handled, confidentiality, privacy issues around all of these topics, technology, generally speaking, uh, having people with that, that general sort of mindset around those key areas, very much in demand, very much in request. And then we still get the traditional requests for people with legal, finance, uh, you know, sort of more traditional sort of skill sets as well to join boardrooms. But people tend to want bang for their buck when they're making an appointment. They want people with a, uh, a broader remit than just having a, a law degree or an accounting degree. They're looking for people with, say, for example, merger and acquisition experience, uh, sensitive contract negotiation experience. Uh, they might have legal matters on foot, so they might be looking for a specialist in a particular area. So there's all sorts of opportunities for people to serve. Important that people who are joining boards do their proper due diligence uh, but there certainly is a surge of roles coming through perfect time of year to be thinking about adding an extra board seat to the mix and we're expecting it to be a very busy few months as we finalize boards uh, as we head into the end of the year and of course I've launched tiger boards in the market and you can go and check out our new website tigerboards.com.au and we're really focused on bringing that next generation director talent to the boardrooms and really putting uh, that fresh skill set around the table uh, and the fresh mindset you know very professional professional director appointments, people who take this work very seriously, very professional, uh, but really committed to making a difference and serving uh, very effectively in the boardroom. So love to get in touch with you about those topics.